Friday night. Bob's down for the count. Man down, Tom. What happened to you, buddy? I blew out my hips fishing the last three days, fishing hard, hiking. Didn't stay hydrated, didn't get stretched or massages. No. Be honest, it was it was the train. The train took you down. The train did take me down, but it doesn't matter because I'm a real dog. Too much, too much eating and sitting. Too much eating and sitting. I don't have your stamina for that, buddy. Well, I think we're gonna leave this man behind. <laughs>for a super special episode of ATL. It's my birthday. It is your birthday, but you can't be announcing it like it's a quinceanera. <laughs> so why else is this special? Because we're going to Chicago. How we get there? By train. How long is it gonna take? 18 hours. Did you see Doug, by the way? I don't know, where's Doug? I actually have no idea. <laughs> Doug works in mysterious ways. We're on the California Zephyr Line. Just got on board in Denver, Colorado. On our way to Chicago, Illinois, with stops in Lincoln and Omaha. How long is the ride? 18 hours. Are we gonna do a lot of eating and sitting? We are actually on an observation deck, which is made for sitting and eating. I love it, brother, let's get it. <laughs> let's do it. What'd you get yourself for dinner, buddy? I got everybody hot dogs. We're in the observation car. There's a couple things you gotta take in consideration when riding the Amtrak. What is that? Not a ton of food options. You get microwavable hot dogs, bottles of water. Just tried to fill up my bottle of water in the sink. It was a little cloudy, so we're not trying to get a bacterial infection, if you know what I'm saying. So we'll keep giving you tips as we go along the way and learn what train life is all about. For now, as I always like to say, I'm out. And he tells me my fun facts are boring. Tommy's been raiding the snack bar downstairs and he stumbled across Close some suit. hidden gems. What do we got, Tommy? We actually got a surprisingly good looking calzone. Pepperoni and cheese. And then some, I went really classy with the buffalo yeah. tenders with the ranch. So it's safe to say, Tommy somehow managed to find the train version of pizza pockets and chicken skewers. That's right, wherever I go. So Tommy's gonna eat his dinner and then we're gonna get ready for bed here soon. So it's 1.30 a.m. We're here on the observatory car still, except that we pretty much have it all to ourselves right now, which is kind of awesome. Um, I don't know, it's just an interesting way to travel, like through the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. Though, fun fact, we just passed through Funk, Nebraska. Funk you up, son. We do need to get back there at some point. We need to check out Funk. So anyway, we're gonna bed down for the night, catch some sleep before we catch up, check out the sunrise. Um, and I'm just rambling at this point. So, my take on this whole thing, we just heard from Tommy, we're in the observatory car, there's nobody on here. What I like about this whole experience is how anonymous it is. Like, there's nobody checking IDs, there's nobody really interacting with one another, it's just like, people moving about the country through the dark veil, it's creepy, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's really anonymous and it's, you know, it's a cool way to travel. I, think. I, just, uh, I don't know, it's just been a lot of fun. And a great way to spend my 42nd year on Earth. So that's it, man.
It was a sunrise fail, but Nebraska is beautiful. Kind of. And we're just here in the observation deck checking out a bunch of trees. Some cloudy skies, but it could be worse. Way to bring the energy. I know, I'm not bringing any of this water. We need some bagels. Bagels and water. Yes, lots of water. Alright, we're gonna get bagels and water. And then eat and sit. Car? Dining car after the open since 6 p.m. Central Time. It's first call. 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 First I got the quesadilla with the green chili sauce. What are you drinking this morning? Tostitos. The uh, breakfast soda of choice, Mountain Dew. It's like 5% orange juice. What do we got here? Pancakes, of course. And then what do I got? You guys like the medley plate. It looks like that's an amazing looking croissant. They're a traveling gentlemen eating breakfast like gentlemen. Yeah. So, me and Doug hanging out, 8 o'clock in the morning on the train, figured I'd get a little revenge on Bobby. He's always videotaping me when I'm sleeping. Let's see what he's up to right now. Just resting a little bit. Doug's dreaming about shadow boxing. Check back in when the big guy wakes up. Automobiles and trains, it's all the same to such. I want to get the gym. All right, Tommy, so the train pulled off in Iowa. What's going on here? We're in Atumna, Iowa, home of Atumna, Iowa. Um, I gotta go. What? Oh, there's a pokey stop here. All right, Tommy boy, we're in a home stretch. We're down in the cafe car. We've got a real rail dog here with you. Meal. This is meal number three on the train. Meal number three, talk to us. It's kind of become an endurance race at this point. <laughs> How much train food can you put down <laughs> before you give up? Or slip into a diabetic coma. So far, I'm doing all right. So far, he's doing all right. We'll let you know how it goes. Tell me what's going on. I don't know. Our last stop before Chicago. How are you hanging in? 15 hours. A rail dog, dude. I got this. Where are we? Um, we are in Galesburg. Any fun facts? I got nothing on Galesburg. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> We're out. We just pulled into Chicago. Let's see what we got going on over here. Tommy's over here. Doing what Tommy always does. Coming into Chicago strong. Alright, so we made it 20 hours on the train from Denver Union Station to Chicago Union Station. You need to regroup. Tommy, you did a good job, brother. You hammered that train food. I did. You did. So Let's get our stuff and get out of here, but as always, where's Doug? I guess we're good to go. Let's do it.